Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first video of a new series that I'm going to be doing. It is called Shop My Stash Wheel of Mayhem. Now this is a video that we will be doing at the beginning of each month and this is where I pull 15 to 20 cents um, out of my collection for this first week of the month. So this will be my melting basket for this week. And how this is going to work is that I have a random number generator and I'm going to use this in conjunction with my spreadsheet. And if you guys have been following along, I was documenting all of the wax that I own in a spreadsheet, mostly to keep track of what I bring in and what I am melting. And my goal is to really melt more than I bring in. So I thought this would be really fun and this is not my idea, so I cannot take credit for it. My friend Farron on Instagram, she is what she melts, came up with this idea. It is gonna be super fun. So what we are going to be doing is putting numbers one through, um, however many wax melt units that I have and the generator is going to choose our melting basket for this week um, I'm super nervous and super excited at the same time because it can be so many different variations any scent category any season any shape size loaf sample it could be anything in between so I'm really excited um, and my goal is to finish everything in this melting basket for this first week but anything that I don't finish in this melting basket will roll over to the next week's however the next week melting baskets will be um, normal melting baskets so they will just be um, either themed or just random things that I choose um, specifically so um, this is gonna be really fun and it's gonna be a great way to pull scents that maybe I don't gravitate towards or I don't know, it's <laughs> it's gonna be random and it's gonna be super fun. So let's get into pulling my scents for this week. I'm really excited to share this with you guys. Okay, so we have the random number generator pulled up. But I'm gonna show you guys the spreadsheet. So I have the spreadsheet alphabetized by scent name. Um, I did talk to Farron about this, how if we thought this would affect the random number generator, but I really don't think it will because it is truly random. So I decided to still alphabetize it by scent name instead of by um, vendor. I feel like it would give a little bit more of a diversity. So here we are, we have 3,190 units. So it can be a shot cup, a souffle, a loaf, a sample. It could be any size, shape. It could be full. It could be a little bit, but we are going to pick 15 cents from this list and I'm really excited. So enough of my talking, let's get going and let's see what we get. I am really nervous. Okay, the first number is 641. So let's go to 641 and see what our first lucky melt for our basket is. Oh, this might take a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um, and hopefully I have this like updated pretty well. Um, so it's not going to be anything that I've already melted or given away or anything like that. Um, 641 and that, oh my goodness, Christmas tree farm from pumpkin seed wax and bath co. So this guy right here, that is our first one. Okay, let's generate again. Next lucky winner is number 2,236. Okay, 2,236 is going to be Psycho from Super Tarts. Okay, this is so exciting, you guys. It's like picking scents that I definitely wouldn't have chose just off the bat. Okay, number three for our melting basket is number 1508. Okay, 1508 is Juicy Couture by Ebony Violet, and that's a souffle cup. Number four, 439. Okay, 439 is Butterbrickle by Up North Creations in little square shapes. 
Number five is 2,544. Okay, 2,544 is S'mores Fireside Chocolate Caramel Cookies from Milk and Cookies in a shape bag. I know that shape bag's quite small, so that won't go around very much, but I will be able to finish that very quickly. Are we on number six? 2,244, which is kind of close to this one. 2,244, is that what we just said? Oh my gosh, my brain. Two, two, four, four. Is that what I said? Yes, okay, just had to make sure. Pumpkin Carvings by L3 Waxy Wonders and a Trick Tart. I really like that scent. It's like a very fruity pumpkin scent. Number seven, 1533. Okay, 1533 is Chloe's Kisses by K Scented Melts in a Shot Cup. That's so funny because I actually just saw that one sitting in a basket. So that one will be easy to find. Uh, our next one is number 130. Okay, 130. Autumn Rain by Centennial Chic Scents in a Shot Cup. I feel like I've tried to melt that a couple times, so that'll be good to get through. 1986. Okay, oh my gosh, I can't be happier. It's out of the bread box from Sassy Girl Aroma. I'm so excited for that one. I love that one. I think we're on number 10. I'm just going to roll with it. 526. 526, Caramel Cherry Cola by L3. I actually know exactly where that one is, so that is awesome. Sixteen forty three. It is Lemon Pound Cake from Twin City Art Sense in a chunk bag. I'm excited for that one. I bought that one not knowing if I would like that lemon bakery or not, so I'm actually really excited for that one. I am so surprised by what we're getting. Number 11 or 12? <laughs> 2309. Okay, 2309. I knew we were going to get Christmas scents. Putting Up the Christmas Tree by L3. Gosh, I can't remember what that one is, but that was somebody's contest blend, I believe, that won. Okay, we're going to do it, you guys. Sorry, I clicked generate. We came up with 46... 46 is All the Cookies from Lord Apothecary. I think I just melted that one last night. Is that the one that I melted? I'm not sure. Um, either way, we'll love to finish that one up. I'm pretty sure it's a partial brick. It's not a full brick. Okay, let's do three more because I think that's almost 15, somewhere around 15. So we're at number 2042. 2042. Okay, 2042 is Peach Nectar Cream Filled Fluted Tarts. I actually recently got that in the past couple months, and I'm really excited to try that one. That one smelled really, really good. I'm excited for that one. Okay, two more. Number 527. Okay, 527. Caramel Tobacco Cookie Vanilla Cookies Pink Sugar Sugar Cookie Royale from L3. Yeah, that's a loaf. <laughs> It's an entire loaf. I have not cut into that one yet. Uh, so, yep, I got to finish that one this month. I'm excited, though, because I did want to actually pull that one um, in the last few months, and I just hadn't gotten to it yet. All right, guys, what is going to be our last one for this melting basket this week? I'm nervous. Number 93. Okay, that sounds like a really good number. Number 93. Okay, last one going in the basket. Apple Mango Tango from that Smell Good Shop in a 12-pack. Um, I think it might have like maybe 9 or 10 pieces left in it. So I'm excited. That's a good one. I like it. It's like kind of like a fruity laundry. That'll smell really good. So those are our picks from the Wheel of Mayhem. I'm going to go gather them, and I will be back with you guys in just one hot second. Okay, so we have pulled all the scents from the random number generator. I believe this is a total of 16. You guys, this took me a very, very long time to find these scents. Not all of them, but there were specifically four that I was struggling with to find. And two of them I just passed over in the bins that they should be in. And then a couple of them, I was like, oh, that's actually a sample. So I was like, okay, now I need to look at my sample bin. So I was kind of looking in the wrong place. But 
I did find them all, which I was actually being, I was really discouraged because I was like, I'm not going to find it. I'm not going to find it. I found them all. So I don't think this will, these will not be in the order that I picked them. So this is my melting basket for this week. And I'm a little bit scared for a couple of these, but at the same time, this is gonna be super fun. Um, and if I do need to pull anything extra into my basket, I will, but my goal is to really just finish this um, random melting basket. So the first one here is the one that I really struggled with finding and it was exactly where it was supposed to be. This is apple mango tango from that smell good shop. And this is just like the dryer sheets. Yeah, this smells really good. It's a really nice, like, fruity kind of laundry scent. I mean, I know it's laundry, but it smells more fruity to me. This one was a little bit difficult for me to find as well. This is Milk and Cookies, I think it's Candle Company, and this is S'mores Fireside Chocolate Caramel Cupcakes. And so this is one that I just have a little bit of. Um, they're like these little tiny, let's see if I can open the bag, little tiny cupcake shapes. So I'm really only going to get a few melts out of them, but the shapes are super cute yeah it's very chocolatey um next i have centennial chic's autumn rain and this is a shot cup that i put in my basket a multiple times and not melted so it's about time that <laughs> she has a chance to shine it's already pre-cut for me so we have that one i have pumpkin carvings from l3 this is a really great fruity like fleshy kind of scent I can't, what did I say this smelled like? It kind of reminds me of like a pear. Um, it smells delicious and it's not like pumpkin spice. It's definitely like a fleshy fruit. It smells really delicious. Um, some of these are really funny because I had recently just like touched this one, like going through my collection. This is Caramel Cherry Cola from L3. Um, I think this was somebody's custom. Yeah, this smells pretty good. So I'm excited to try this one. Let me get that guy. We have um, Butter Brickle from Up North Creations. This is extremely buttery and creamy with strong base notes of vanilla and a hint of almonds. So um, I did double bag these because the bags became quite oily from this vendor. So I do need to use this vendor up. So I'm really glad that it did choose something. Um, you'll see though, I did get a lot of L3 in this random generator. And that's because L3 is my largest vendor. So they take up a lot of units on my spreadsheet. Um, so I think that's kind of why I was like kind of hoping for, for some other vendors too, but I think we did get a pretty good variation of vendors. I'm very happy to have this one in my basket. This is all the cookies. So I thought that I had melted this one, but that was a different cookie scent from Lord Apothecary. And this is sugar cookies, shortbread cookies, sweet frosting, and brown sugar. And don't you guys just love this bar? Um, Lord Apothecary is currently, I believe, going out of business or taking a break. I'm not really sure what she's completely decided, but she did say on her Facebook that she's not going to be pouring wax anymore. So it makes me really sad, but I really love her wax and I still have some customs coming in. So we're going to melt all the cookies. It picked Twin City Art Sense Luscious Lemon Pound Cake. And I am so on the fence with lemon bakery, but I really am trying to push myself. So I'm happy it chose this one. This is butter, cake, lemon, lemon peel, sugar, and vanilla. So I'm really excited to get that one in the warmers. Of course, I was talking to Farron and I was like, it's going to pull Christmas scents. And yes, it did <laughs> pull Christmas scents. And this is putting up the Christmas tree, which is vanilla balsam, winter linen, and vanilla bean Noel. This is definitely one of the more tame Christmas scents, I feel like, because it's like heavy on like the laundry and this is somebody's custom I don't know who but I think this one will be fine like it definitely does have the tree scent but it's not like too seasonal for me to melt and we have peach nectar cream filled from L3 I'm really excited to smell this one um, I'm actually melting a strawberry pound cake peach nectar scent right now from L3 and it smells heavenly so I'm really excited to try this one. I actually think that the cream filled scent has strawberry in it but I'm not for sure. Um, if you know let me know down below but we have that one and then we have a nice perfumey scent too from Ebony Violet in Juicy Couture. I believe this is the original Juicy Couture. It's not Viva La Juicy. Um, this is red currant, coconut, nectarine, jasmine, tuberose, 
French vanilla, caramel, amber, and sandalwood. Yeah, it has the tuberose in it. So this is like the original Juicy Couture perfume. Um, and I do love the colors on here. Kind of like this ambery orange and then like yellow. Yeah, it smells pretty. It smells, it smells nice. Okay, one I was so excited that it pulled was out of the bread box from Sassy Girl Roma. I could not be happier. Um, this is pretzel latte and vanilla bean Noel. To me, this is definitely more like a salty sweet scent than it is a coffee scent. And it's one of my all time favorites. Oh my gosh, it is pure heaven for me. It's so delicious. I can't get enough of it. So this is one of the five bars that I purchased from her pre-order. So I'm excited to get that guy. We kind of have like a fall-esque scent in Psycho from Super Tarts. And this is pumpkin bread, raspberry, and spice cake. I'm a little bit nervous for this one. Yeah, it's like pretty spicy. And it's pretty warm here, at least today. So... I'm a little bit nervous about that one. I might even like cut the cubes in half and distribute it like so it's a little bit lighter of a scent because I, I'm assuming that the clove in here, which is what I really smell, is going to be very strong. Okay, this sample. <laughs> if I knew it was a sample, I guess I didn't look hard enough. I would have found this a lot sooner, but this is Christmas Tree Farm from Pumpkin Seed Wax and Bath Co. And I got this from my friend Danny in a random act of kindness. So this will probably go in the same day that I put this scent from L3. Maybe I'll put this one in the bathroom and put this the rest throughout the house. So those ones will go well together. I have Chloe's Kisses from K Scented Melts. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this one yet because it's such a small sample, but this is a beautiful like creamy rose scent. So I'm excited to do that. And then lastly, we have this big loaf. And I said, you guys, I have to melt through this basket. Um, like none of this is going back into my collection. So I won't finish this loaf during the week. I mean, that would be amazing if I did, but it's pretty much impossible for me. So this one will stay in my melting basket until I finish it. And this is going to be L3's Caramel Tobacco, Vanilla Cookies, Pink Sugar, and Sugar Cookie Royale. This smells incredible. It's an entire loaf. I haven't dug into it at all, but I have been thinking about it. So I'm excited to get this one going. It smells delicious. I hope that I really like it because I'll be smelling it for the whole month probably. <laughs> so that is my entire melting basket for this week, you guys. I hope you are enjoying this new series on my channel. Thank you so much, Farron, for helping me with this idea. She really did come up with this idea and we just kind of went back and forth about, you know, how, how it should really go and everything so I am really really excited I think this is super fun and if you guys have a spreadsheet I really suggest that you also do this because it just pulls random scents and it's I don't know I just think it's so fun and so much different than a lot of the theme baskets that we have been doing um so thank you so much for watching um I think I'm going to insert a clip here at the end of a little bit of my stash because I know I didn't go over um the way I organized my stash after I was done doing my spreadsheet so I wanted to include a little bit of that here at the end it's not my entire stash I don't go through everything but it's just a little bit of my bins and kind of like what it looks like so I hope you guys enjoyed and have a beautiful weekend and we'll talk again soon all right bye okay so I know I promised you guys that I would show you some of my storage so this is not everything but this is kind of how I have things set up so like this bin here this is lavender and mint down there is L3. This bottom bin here is that Smell Good Shop and the Bathing Garden and Sassy Girl Aroma, um, Savannah Blue, Rose Girls, Pharmacist Daughter. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how I organize it. I organize by vendor. So you can see it goes down like that. But yeah, this is generally how I store all of my wax with the exception of my little stickers from inventory. Um, I also put some in these drawers here. So we got rainbow melts in there, zape, and some more super tarts. And then I think this is where yeah, my scoopables start down here. So that is pretty much how I organize all my wax is through bins. <laughs> Yeah.